I, Stefan Zweig, have been detached, as rarely anyone has in the past, from all the roots and from the very earth which nurtures them. I was born in 1881 in a great and mighty empire, in the monarchy of the Habsburgs. But do not look for it on the map. It has been swept away without trace. I grew up in Vienna, the 2,000-year-old supernational metropolis, and was forced to leave it like a criminal before it was degraded to a German provincial city. My literary work, in the language in which I wrote it, was burned to ashes in the same land where my books made friends of millions of readers. And so I belong nowhere, and everywhere I am a stranger or a guest at best. Tell the story of how Stefan Zweig and I, at that time Friederike Maria von Winternitz, found each other. It is because of our repeated strange encounters that made us seem destined to get together, even as children we almost met. But the signs of predestination, or whatever one wants to call this mysterious force, became more perceptible when we were adults and I was already attached to another man. There was a most mysterious recurrence of such a sign three decades later, at which time it was he who had another attachment. Half an hour after Stefan had arrived in New York on a plane from Florida, he was on his way to the British consulate to register his and Lotte's passports. Among the seven million inhabitants of the city, we met by chance.